Hello everyone, we're going to explain what's happening here. Is this double trigger or what? So, uh, first, uh, let's notice that this is ABV CMV mode of ventilation. The targeted tidal volume is 570. We're doing this at a rate of 34 per minute, uh, meaning that every around 1.75 seconds there is a breath. Of course, if the patient does not breathe earlier. So, this is pressure regulation, meaning that the pressure is determined based on a feedback mechanism from the previous uh, breath. So what you see here in, on this breath, the pressure is around 20. This is what you see in the remaining of the uh, flow that is decelerating. And it looks like we only delivered 300 or 350 ml. Expiration here. Pressure goes back to the baseline, which is a peep of 8. And then the next breath here, it looks like it is time triggered. There is no negative deflection here. The pressure goes up again to a value. It should have, have been actually higher than the previous one because the, the volume was not delivered as the target. I'm not sure if it is increased a little bit, but anyhow, it should have been increased by around two centimeter, two to three centimeter of water each breath. So this one is actually delivered by the machine. This is decelerating flow waveform. And again, notice that the volume did not reach 570. It is around 400 here. Expiration starts. You can see the pressure is released and the flow goes to negative expiratory flow this is expiration here so in fact this patient started to exhale you can see that the volume started to go down however the patient pulled down the pressure here so this is inspiratory effort by the patient that resulted into a cessation of expiration and in fact we cut expiration short this is the start of inspiration before we completely emptied the lungs. So this inspiratory effort triggered the ventilator once more. However, it did not occur within the first breath. So it cannot be called double triggering. This machine here is triggered by the time and then this breath is finished. And then another breath occurred. However, it occurred very early before exhalation is completed. Now, the uh, machine delivered looks like it's the same pressure. Again, it should have been higher because the volume was not delivered. What you see here is a very high flow and the flow goes up to around 100 liters per minute. And then the volume goes up it looks like we got 1200 ml into the lungs. So the reason why we have a huge tidal volume is because of inspiratory effort of the patient. If the patient did not have this inspiratory effort, this pressure would have resulted into very low tidal volume. So this breath is started by the patient. The machine delivered a pressure of 20 centimeter of water, the patient continued to breathe, the tidal volume went up much higher than 570. Now exhalation starts here. You can see the patient again took another breath here. The pressure dropped below the zero level. However, it did not trigger another breath. So even though this is actually lower than this, but doesn't look like it triggered another breath. You can see that inspiratory efforts here. This is the start of expiration. However, the patient took a initiation of breath that resulted into cessation of the flow, but it did not trigger the ventilator. You can see that volume here kind of plateaued a little bit, and then exp expiration continued and the patient continue to exhale. The volume goes down to this point. At this point here, another breath occurred, and this is time triggered. 
and the machine delivered pressure, it should have been less than the previous pressure because the volume was higher than the targeted tidal volume of 570. Notice persistent flow at end of expiration. At the initiation of inspiration here, the patient did not completely exhale. That's why the volume went down to zero here because of recalibration of the machine. So that means into the lung, we have around here 150, maybe 200, and then we added 1,200, so that's total of 1,400. What we exhaled here looks like around 500 or 600 remaining from this breath plus the 200, so what we have inside the lungs probably around 600 or 700 ml. That's why this pressure did not result into large tidal volume. The patient did not inhale along with the ventilator here. The flow is minimal because of that retained volume into the lungs. We ended up having around 100 or 150 ml only. Exhalation starts here. Patient started to exhale. So what, was, what we are exhaling right now, the tidal volume that we got here plus whatever retained here, you don't see the uh, remaining of the expiratory phase here, but most likely that volume went down all the way. And I think that's all about this uh, graph here. I hope that this is helpful to you. If you have any question, please post it on the comment section. Thanks.